Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweetie High's Music Monday. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today I am so excited to say we're joined by singer-songwriter David Michael Frank. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me on the show. People love you, love what you put out, but I want you to tell the fans and audience at home kind of how you started in this industry and where your love for music developed. Uh, I, I did go to college and I studied business and singing. And after that, I, I went to Los Angeles and I was I was selected and put into a, a little boy band. And we were we were uh, sort of seeing the, the, the industry and we got to see some of the ugly sides of the industry. But it was the first time that I was able to put out music, um, you know, after the boy band, then we became independent. I put out music that I wrote. And when I started to put out music that I wrote, I didn't know the impact until I started to see the lyrics that I wrote in my dark moments, connecting with people, making them feel a little bit less alone, feel heard or feel understood. And then that idea became this catalyst, this this force to, to keep making music that, that connects with people, um, especially music that connected with me authentically in the first place. And that takes me all the way back to back, maybe listening to music in my headphones as a kid being, you know, rebellious or angry or trying to find my way. Um, and, you know, Chester Bennington or, or certain singers, whatever, how they, you know, sat, sat with me. Um, so since then, I've been chasing the, the dream. We always stop ourselves before we take that risk because of what's inside our head or, you know, what other people tell us. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Maybe save your money. Don't take the risk. You may fail. So you are a living example of someone that believed in themselves, took a risk, and look at how it's turned out. So my question for you is for someone at home that may be too scared to take a risk right now, what would you say to them? Look, it's important to look at everything realistically, but you do have the potential to uh, be your own safety net. You can employ all, all those strategies to to believe in yourself and, and go for it. it you know, even just having like one person that's sort of the pat on the back would be could be enough, but you might be able to do that for yourself um and honestly if you don't if you don't ask you'll never get it and that goes for any opportunity and i've hired people on this tour that have been the ones that have been the go-getters not that just filled out the forms that have been the one that literally like called me or texted me and and you know that sort of squeaky wheel gets the grease idea that's such a big thing in life that if you want to be signed or you want the tours or if you want to uh, work with certain people, you have to go out there and you have to make those connections and you can't wait for someone to find you. When do you head out on tour? Where are you stopping? Tell us a little bit about tour. Okay, so uh, October 10th, I start in Atlanta and this entire thing was planned because at the beginning of the year, um, I decided to start focusing on what was really my identity, which was creating the original music that connected with people instead of just viral dream on kind of TikToks where you're just sort of playing for the trend, uh, which is fun and I love it, but it's not my identity and it's not connecting with people. So started in January this year, I said, I'm only gonna do original music and I have been posting less. I've been reposting my old stuff a little bit. And uh, this tour was built out of not getting those opportunities for the summer, begging for tours, not getting anything. And then seeing fall, begging, not getting anything. And so I, I made it happen. And this happens to be the scheduling that is convenient for me in my life. But October 10th, we start in Atlanta uh, and we're gonna travel throughout the entire US except for the Pacific Northwest. Um, I will be at When We Are Young Fest in Las Vegas. I, that is a Saturday and Sunday, but the Friday before I am throwing the official unofficial pre-party for the event. So I've got a huge event and basically it's almost like my concert is opening for my big event, but it's still my event. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll end the tour on November 18th in Chicago after a full US of 24 shows. You are putting out new music because your new single just dropped, So What? So congrats on that. So tell me a little bit about this. Um, yeah, so in only focusing on original music, I actually have, I think it's about 23 songs that are all nearing the finish line. But instead of working on them one at a time, I was really doing all the drums to want to 
all the songs, all the bass, all the songs, all the guitar, all the songs. So nothing was getting to the ending. And I was like, okay, I'm going to plan a tour. And so I had to pick one, which is so difficult when you have songs that'll make someone cry or songs that'll make someone feel empowered or songs that'll make them dance. And you had to, I had to choose. Um, so I chose one that, that is, you know, a sad kind of troubling, not troubling, but a, but a message about sort of like, uh, I don't want to give my own interpretation of my song away because I like people to make their own, but uh, sort of the acceptance of the difficulty of the end of a, of a breakup and sort of that dismissive, like, so what element to it. Um, but uh, it's sort of fun. It's like, it's a, it's a little darker in the lyrics, but the, the message or the vibe of the song is sort of fun. So it has an energy that I thought was unparalleled on, on the record that I wanted to just throw that as the first one. Um, but I have songs on all different styles and all different uh, emotional heartstrings for you. Everyone at home, today we will have the chance to hear an exclusive performance of So What from David Michael Frank. So after this performance, make sure to drop a comment, a like, subscribe, and go follow David Michael Frank. Let's take a look. You think of me if you do so well 